Tomorrow, Rhode Island will learn more about the team name and crest for a new professional men's soccer team. For months, 12 News has been tracking the latest on the Tidewater Landing Project in Pawtucket. That's slated to be the team's new home. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock sp spent the day talking to soccer fans about the excitement and really what this could mean for the future of the game here in the country's smallest state. Sheena, soccer fans in Cranston were excited to hear the news that the state's newest professional team would be unveiling their team crest and name tomorrow. But for local coaches, they say bringing pro soccer here is a game changer for the future of our state's athletes. Pawtucket's Tidewater Landing Project has been the cause of a lot of conversation, frustrations from taxpayers and public offices over who's going to foot the bill. But for soccer fans here in the Ocean State, they're not worried about any of that. They say they're just excited to see the game they love expanding across our state. I never thought I'd see the day that the little old state of Rhode Island would uh, have a pro team. So this is amazing. For Brandon Ionelli, he says the timing behind the announcement couldn't be any better. I just think it's going to be just a really great platform to bring people together um, and just strengthen our community. And I think the game is growing all over the world, and especially in this country now with the World Cup coming here soon. Jair Correa is the boys' soccer coach at Cranston West, and he says Rhode Island is a melting pot. Something he thinks will help both the game and the state's newest team flourish. Has so much diversity to begin with, and uh, because of the diversity, I really think that that team is going to succeed in so many different ways that a lot of clubs can't do in, in this country. Correa says that the presence of a pro team not only encourages kids to play the game, but also gives them a platform to play at a higher level. The amount of resources that it's going to create as well for all these kids and the competition that's also going to arise is going to be amazing to see because now that you have a pro team here in Rhode Island, you've got that pro team competing nationally. And of course, as most pro teams, there's going to be an academy system. And when it comes to team names, both Ionelli and Correa sharing what they want to see the soccer club be. We're the Ocean State, so maybe something along the lines of, like, I think of something that starts with the letter R, like Rhode Island, like Rhode Island Riptides or something like that. I mean, if you ask me, though, I would, I would throw the FC in there, <laughs> you know, SC or FC, because, I mean, you know, that's just a, a global stamp. Rhode Island's newest soccer team will be joining the United Soccer League, a United States Soccer Federation sanctioned Division II program. Now in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.